Hello and welcome to MCE's Home Energy Showcase Series. My name is Alex and joining us today is Justine from MCE to share some info on public safety power shutoff events. Welcome, Justine. Hi, Alex. Thank you for having me. Yeah, so my first question is, what are public safety power shutoff events and why do they happen? Great question. So if severe weather such as high temperatures, strong winds, and low humidity threatens a portion of the electric system, PG&E may determine it necessary for them to turn off electricity to certain parts of the grid in the interest of public safety. This is called a public safety power shutoff or a PSPS event. MCE, unfortunately, we do not determine the events or when power is restored, but we will keep information about local PSPS events on our homepage to serve and inform our customers. You can find more information about PSPS events at pgne.com slash PSPS or watch one of PGE's wildfire safety webinars for information relevant to your county. You can access the recorded webinars at pgne.com slash wildfire webinar. Thanks, that's helpful information. And my, my next question is, how will I find out if my home will be affected by a public safety power shutoff? Yeah, so I think the best way to answer that question is to show you some of the online resources you have available to you. Um, first, I'd like to show you information about PSPS events. They can be found at pg&e.com slash PSPS. Make sure to click the button at the top of the page to verify or update your contact information. If there is upcoming PSPS event, if there is an upcoming PSPS event in your area, PG&E will use the phone number and email associated with your PG&E account to notify you about the event. You'll be notified through automated calls, text messages, and emails. Whenever possible, you'll receive notice two days before the electricity is turned off. Then again, one day before, and lastly, just before the electricity is turned off. You may also be notified during the outage and when the power has been restored. Regular updates during a PSPS event can be found at pgnealerts.alerts.pgne.com slash updates. Or you can just click on the event update link located on the main pgne.com slash PSPS page. Uh, the next resource I'm going to show you comes to you from the California Public Utilities Commission. It is their High Fire Threat District map. Um, to determine the most likely areas to be considered for a public safety power outage, their area is listed as elevated, tier two, or extreme risk, tier three. You can find this map by going to ia.cpuc.ca.gov slash fire. Make sure they're only the fire threat tier two and tier three check boxes are selected. If you're located in one of the red or orange areas, your area is at a greater likelihood for being considered for a public safety footage. But customers outside of these areas can also have their power shut off if their community relies on an electric line that passes through a high fire threat area or an area experiencing severe weather. The last thing I would like to show you today is PG&E's seven day forecast. Um, you can find this on pgne.com slash weather, and we'll give you the forecast for PSPS events in the future. You can find your geographic zone on the map to the right. MCE customers are in zones three and four. According to the table for this week, it looks like there are no expected potential PSPS events in zones three or four. Thanks, Justine. I, I can't tell you how helpful that information is in um, uh, determining whether PSPS might affect me. And my next question is, if I rely on power for my medical needs, will my power still be affected by a PSPS event? Yes, your, your power will still be shut off. Um, we highly encourage you to enroll in the medical baseline program if you depend on power for certain medical and independent living needs. Medical baseline customers will receive extra notifications from PG&E in advance of a PSPS event. They will also receive a lower rate on their monthly energy bill. PG&E administers this program for MCE customers, and you can apply or learn more at pg&e.com slash medical baseline. Enrolling in the medical baseline program may qualify you for other program benefits and incentives. Um, through a, a program of the California Foundation for Independent Living Centers, we encourage you to apply for disability access and disaster resources. They can be found at disabilitydisasteraccess.org slash public safety power shutoffs. These resources may include meals, hotel stays, accessible transportation, and home batteries for backup power. MCE has provided 100 of these batteries for distribution throughout our community to customers who depend on power for medical and independent living needs. 
And um, I'm also curious to ask, will the grocery stores and gas stations in my neighborhood also lose their power? Grocery stores, gas stations, and other businesses will also have their power shut off if they're in a PSPS event area. However, you may find they're able to remain open if they have a backup power system, um, such as battery backup or a generator. Gotcha, and I'm also curious to know, will, will traffic signals in my neighborhood work? Some traffic signals may have limited battery backup power, but most traffic signals will not work. Um, you're encouraged to take extra caution at intersections. And then finally, my last question is, if the power goes out, and I have back and I have backup power for my home. Will my internet, cell phone, or landline still work? You know, they may or may not, depending on your carrier. Okay. Um, we really strongly recommend using a portable battery charger or power bank to charge your cell phone as part of your emergency planning. My family actually has one. This brand is Anchor, and it can charge two devices at any given time. Gotcha. Um, well, th those are all my questions. Um, so, yes, I want to uh, thank you for joining. Um, that the information you provided is is seriously helpful for getting started with um, uh, preparing to handle one of these events. So, I want to thank you for joining, Justine, and to our viewers, thank you for joining for MCE's Home Energy Showcase Series. Thank you.